Welcome to my Mitsubishi Outlander vlog and this is my second oil change on this car. As you saw earlier it just hit 6,000 miles so this is going to be my second oil change. The first one was exactly at 1,000 miles. Please see another video. I'm going to mark it in the link below. But uh, last time I installed this magnetic drain plug and we're going to see how much of the material has accumulated on it. I'm going to take a closer look here in a second. And upon a closer examination, it seems like this is normal amount of wear after about 5,000 miles. This is a brand new engine. So like I mentioned, this is the second oil change. And I intend to keep this plug uh, for my next one. And we'll see the amount that we will gather next time around. And yes, the magnet sticks to the oil pan, so it makes it convenient. You cannot lose it this way. You can just stick it on. Of course, now I'm having trouble getting it into the thread because it sticks. That's probably my only negative experience with it so far. So as you can see, I clean up real quick. We're going to go ahead and tighten using the 14 millimeter socket. And then I'm going to use a torque wrench to get it tightened. Here I'm going to locate the oil filter, which is just in front of an oil pan towards the front bumper. So if you look up, here it is. And this is the view from the top from the engine compartment. So I'm on the driver's side looking straight down going to pull up the drain pan right underneath so then when I remove the filter using this universal oil filter wrench I picked up at a local hardware store the oil will drain directly into the pan so I'm going to use a socket driver and go ahead and remove the oil filter next well this is not the best viewing angle from here what I'm doing next is I'm going to speed up the footage as I remove the filter using the ratchet. Now just uh, using my hand, I'm gonna spin the filter right off. Remove that and let the oil drain. Here's the filter. I have marked it last time I changed the oil. So this was June 30th and I did this at 1000 miles. So here's the new filter, comes with a crush washer which is nice of the parts department to include that. And then we're gonna go ahead and unwrap the new filter. Comes with a nice little plastic seal because there's grease on the top. So I have marked it again. Right now it's May 15th and at 6,000 miles. So we'll grab this grease and spread it around Real good so it provides a nice seal and go ahead and reinstall the filter follow the directions typically once the filter is threaded on and it touches the filter housing you want to rotate it another three quarters of a turn nice and snug and you should be all set clean up the area around the filter and the housing so that way you can detect any leaks if you notice any. And now we're going to take a look at the oil we drained. Looks dark, certainly dark after 5,000 miles, although really not too bad. I do expect this appearance. Now this time around, not as many metal shavings that we can see on the bottom of the drain pan. So I am happy with that. Handy dandy funnel. Now I use this trick to fill the engine with oil 
so I keep my bottle turned sideways so that way we avoid the gulp, gulp, gulp. Or did you like that special effect as I punched the hole in the seal? And let's get that oil in the engine. Four and a half quarts is what you need. I believe the engine takes about 4.9 quarts. So I'm gonna start with four and a half, and then as I start the engine, we'll check oil level again, and then fill another maybe half a quart or so until the dipstick shows it's full, or between the high and low marks. One of the things I find challenging is how the dipstick fits into the engine block. Because of this plastic cover, it's hard to thread it in, so I struggle with that. And it looks like we're spot on, so the oil is just at the second mark from the tip, which means we are at the desired level. Job well done. Now it's time to button everything up. I'm just going to clean up here and install the oil cap back on and run the engine for a little bit to make sure we're at the correct level. Okay, we are done under the hood. I'm gonna go ahead and close that up and then get back inside the car to reset the computer and set the mileage interval for the next oil change. So to update your oil change information in the computer, you need to go to the information screen, then select maintenance, and my oil change intervals are set for 5,000 miles. So for engine oil, 5,000 miles oil filter. By default, it actually puts it in as 7,200 miles intervals, but I like to do mine right at 5,000. I don't put too much mileage on the car in the year, really roughly about 5,000 miles, so I do annual oil changes. So, but if you need to change, you can just go into the wrench and then that would update today's date as you have changed the oil today and also it'll update the information on the distance. So I don't wanna do that. But basically you select engine oil and then the interval that you want to select, you either set it up by time, so uh, six months or 12 months or whatever, or every month. And then same thing for the mileage, you can do the distance and you can set it up. You go to under the setup and then you can clear this and then put in 7,500 miles or 3,000 miles, whatever you prefer. And that is how you update the oil change information in a Mitsubishi Outlander. And as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.